Nobody go anywhere, alright? Okay, okay. You fuck up! For the first couple weeks that I came back to jail, I was still pissed off because, you know, they used all this documentary footage against us to convict us. And I was pissed off with the whole courtroom scene, and I shouldn't have defended myself. I know that now. And for the first two weeks in jail, I basically partied. I did a lot of drugs, and I was getting drunk. And now I realize that, you know, it's you got to try to stay away from all that stuff in here. And basically, if you're going to be in here, you may as well use the time to, to get smarter. I learned about relationships, how it's probably a good thing to take a break once in a while from your relationship, because then when, when you're, the break's over, it's... Uh, it's like it's stronger, I guess. So as far as Lucy Trinity goes, that's probably good. Taking a break from dope is even a good kind of a break because then when you smoke dope again, you get a lot more fucked up. What Ricky's talking about is the power of positive thinking. Now, I've been doing a lot of reading in here about that and I've learned to take a negative situation and turn it into a positive one. And I've been telling Ricky all about it. And Exactly, it's all in how you look at it. I mean. You can pretend you're in jail, or right now I'm pretending that I'm in university. If you look at jail in a positive manner, I mean, you eat three times a day, okay? You have a schedule, you follow that schedule. You have a lot of time to yourself to read, to reflect on life, and hang out with your friends. I'm glad I went to jail, and the only thing that I really miss is probably having regular, you know, dope all the time, getting drunk regularly, and I miss Lucy and Trinity, but other than that, I fucking love being in jail. Positive thinking, Ricky. 45 days, buddy. It's easy. Sloppy Joe's tomorrow. Oh yeah, it's Thursday, right on. We'll be okay. <laughs>